Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. And today I'm going to teach you how we can be able to send push notification from Firebase to mobile application. As you can see, I've developed a demo application that I'm going to use to illustrate what you are going to learn. So as you can see, let's try and send our first message from Firebase. So just go to your Firebase and then go to crowd messaging You'll see this button, send your first message, title. Let's say this is test, test notification. Next is the target. So I'm going to target net Lantech notif. As you can see, this is my package name. Next. Scheduling now. Next, these are additional options. So then the notification will be test notification. Let's see. So now publish. So we can see we have our test notification here. When I click it, it opens the activity that is main activity. So we can try in the background. Let's see. New notification. Test two. Test two notification. Next target. Next next and then publish. So let's see. Even when you are in the background, we can receive the notification. By default, uh, when you add Firebase crowd messaging, it works in the background. But I'm going to show you how you can be able to send even in the foreground. So let's get started. This is a fresh project which I'm going to use. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to add Firebase configuration. So go to Tools, and then Firebase, then Crowd Messaging, set up Firebase, connect to Firebase. You'll see a pop-up that is create new Firebase project, the name, and then the country and the region, connect to Firebase. So the application is connecting, let's see. So determining Android current, registering Android current. Downloading Firebase configuration. As you can see, Firebase project created and connected locally to module app. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to add Firebase to your app, accept changes. So now our Firebase FCM is added to our application. The next thing is if you wish to add any message handling beyond receiving notification on the app in the background, create a service. But before we do this, let's learn and see what we have. So I'm going to close this one and this one too. So as you can see, I've tried to learn, but there is a missing file called Google service.json. So I'm going to go to my Firebase and then look for the application that I've created. Let's reload this one. So it's here, notification. I'm going to go to project settings and then download Google JSON service. So I have it, it's one. Let's copy this one. Let me actually delete both so that I can download afresh. So download. Copy it and paste it in your application folder. So let's learn again and see what we have. So the app is learning, the grad is learning. So 
so the app is installing let's see and now it's launching so we are going to try and send our first notification so i'm going to go to crowd messaging remember to have selected your application here and then i'm going to send your first message and here i'm going to say test test notification next i'm going to select my package next next and then i'm going to leave you and publish let's see so we didn't receive any notification since our application is in foreground let's try to put it on the background and see new notification test i'm going to say test b for test background test background notification select application staging now and then review publish as you can see we have the notification here as test b test background notification so i'm going to teach you now how we can be able to add or receive notification when the app is in foreground so as you can see from the assistant here if you wish to handle any message handling beyond receiving notification on the app in the background create a service that extend a firebase messaging service so we are going to create this service so i'm going to create a new service as you can see from my demo application i have the service here and so i'm going to create exactly the same that i created so new coltrane class the name i'm going to say my firebase service which i'm going to extend firebase messaging service i'm going to override two methods the first method i'm going to override is on message received and the other one i'm going to override is on token new token so for the new token this is where now you send the new token that has been generated to the server and this is the message you want to display this method handles the message that is received when notification or the app is in foreground so what i'm going to do is just log and say notification or let's see message and then i'm going to have message as message received and then for the token i'm going to log and then i'm going to have token new token in my main activity i'm going to add this service so from the assistant you can see how you can be able to add the service so just copy this one and paste it remove this one and we are going to add our permission here internet so let's learn again the application and see how it behaves so the app is launching let's wait okay let's send our first our foreground notification so i'm going to say test f foreground test foreground notification next i'm going to select the app next next review and then publish so let's see the logs message received so our message has been received so that's all i intended to show you guys but now i need let, let's see how you can be able even to show a notification when the message is received while the app is in foreground 
So I'm just going to copy what I did in the demo application for notification so that we can save the time. So this is show notification function. That's what I'm going to copy here. I did a tutorial on how you can be able to send notification. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can see it. So I'm also going to copy some constant ahead. Let's change this one. So notification, there we are. So once the message is received, as you can see, we are going to show the notification. So we are going to determine the size. So if the remote, let's change this one. If the remote the data size is greater than zero, we are going to get the title and the body, and then so notification. Else we are going to get the notification title and the notification body. So let's learn our application now and see what we have. Okay, let's try. Test for ground with the notification. Test for ground. Then I'm going next. Target application. Next. Next. And then leave you. Publish. You can hear the sound. So we have our notification here. And it's test FN. And I click it, we are going to our main activity. So to explain a little on the notification bit, as you can see, we have the title and we have the body. And then we are calling this method, the method called notification, which uh, we are passing context, title, and the message. Uh, we have our data, we have our action and flag. And then we are checking the build version. You can hear the sound, so I'm passing even the sound. Here, link to manager, get the default. And then uh, I'm showing the notification. So that's all, guys. Uh, if you have any question or you'd like me to do something else related to this, even or not related to this, comment below. So if you are new, uh, remember to subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.